over here. Nice. Donaldton, Zaranea, Banana Cabanas Timber Company. Very nice. Alright, so now uh, there's a huge demand for industrial jobs and zoning and things like that. Uh, we've got cash, we do have cash. I'm gonna unlock this area. And I might unlock some more just so that we have a little bit of flexibility. Oh, this one's cheaper. Oh, maybe because it's less building space. And then I want to build or uh, buy this one next. But what I'll do is I'll build this road up into the hills here. Uh, let's use the curvy tool. It's still mostly going to be straight. With a little personality. Excellent. Now, this, I believe, is all um, farmable area, isn't it? Yes, it is. So, oh yeah, unique factory. Yeah, we got to do that for money. I think we'll build a farming industrial area over here. And maybe we'll do another, like, um, forestry one. Or we may just use the forestry district thing and build, like, regular industrial buildings. Something like that. And yeah, we have to get ourselves to the point where we build our, um, our campuses. I'm a fan of the U.S. city Newdenhuten, Ohio. The name's from German, but pronounced like Nodenhuten. Okay. Is there an observatory telescope to build in this game to put on the mountain? I don't know, actually. I know the university stuff. This campus expansion has added tons of like different and new custom content for, for schooling and stuff like that. They may have something. I don't know. All right, uh, unique factories. Yeah, we just need how much? It's 22 grand, which we're very close to. We might take out a loan to speed things up. Now, I don't think the unique factory has to be built in any areas. Yeah, it can be placed outside the industrial area. I think I'll just build it over here. With that, it's Referic! Hey, Referic! Hello, sir, I love the poll polluting mark. Wait, hold on. <laughs> that went away too fast. Uh, let's build this here. Nice. We got a furniture factory. Wood Vision office furniture. Um, yeah, and when I tab out, it's just gonna, it's gonna pan here, so I apologize for that. Uh, uh, hello, sir, I love the Polluting Mars Let's Play on YouTube. Thank you for the great content on YouTube. By the way, are you actually trying to create a good functioning city? I'm trying to, or one that builds up and burns to the ground because of mismanagement. If that's what happens, then that's what I'll claim I was aiming for. So I don't know. <laughs> Nightmare Lord, had an interview yesterday. If I get a job, oh, hey, well, I hope you do get your job. Hope it's a good one. Drop some cash for whiskey and chocolate with my first paycheck. Oh, well, you don't have to do that, but thank you. Um, Pantomo, I guess, yeah, if I went in like fancy camera mode first and then tabbed out. When did they add this fancy camera mode, by the way? Like, this is sick. Does it change what it does from time to time? Yeah. This is sick. When was this added to the game? Ghost Quill, yeah, I'm just floating. I mean, unfortunately, I don't have enough interesting areas of my city from the Park Life update. Like, can we just watch this for the rest of the stream? Yeah, she's all perfected. I know, I've got lower body problems. Ah, <laughs> oh, it's so sick. So yeah, um, we just, <laughs> just want, it's want to follow traffic along these long roads that don't have anything going on. Um, so yes, okay, got that. You have power. We probably don't have enough power. Indeed, we do not. Um, now, we could raise some budgets, but I think what we might do, these advanced wind turbines, I think their max is, what, 20? Yeah. Um, let me get some 16s over here. That's not bad. Oh, they can be placed on land as well. Now, they're fairly noisy. Apparently. Oh, no, no, you have to be put on water, I was going to say. Uh, 16 is not terrible. Let's accept that. There we go. I do that, but I can see us damning this. It's whiskey and chocolate! It's whiskey and chocolate! Careful placing those that have it on bad authority to cause cancer. <laughs> MJ. Uh, that one weird kid. Uh, mostly straight with a little personality. Sounds like someone's been reading my dating profile again. <laughs> That's good. All these roundabouts should have the right policies set because um, the roundabout creation mod 
is compatible with uh, Traffic Manager Presidential Edition. So you only have to check that it's set up okay if I like add a road connection. Um, but so far, so good. And yeah, you'll need some services over here. Money's still coming in okay. It could certainly be better though. Um, yeah, I wanna do a farming area over here. And yeah, the, res the commercial hasn't been popping in, but that's okay. So let's grab, oh yeah, I did grab, it was only the two lane, but I guess that's gonna be okay. Uh, let's do a little straight intersection, sort of this way and this way. We'll be ready for later content. And let's use the amazing mod. Oh God, it's so good. Uh, let's make it a little bigger than this. These are big roads, we want some space, boom. And yeah, using the highway connection is better. They're a little faster and they don't, um, they automatically don't have parking or zoning on the side, which prevents me from accidentally zoning on the roundabout, which was like, what? I don't want that. Uh, I think what I want to do is this. And that to start off with. Too many straight lines, not very exciting. Should do something about that. Uh, but for now, um, we are going to make a industrial area. Over here. Um, hang on, what were my latest bribes here? Uh, Refric Farms. Referic Farms. Come back, come back camera. Stop trying to run away from me. So now what we have to do is we have to plop down a central building. It's interesting, I wonder why it's making that jump. Probably have to do with the angle and the intersection. Now, grain sallows, animal pastures, crop fields, fruit fields, excellent. More whiskey and chocolate, you forgot! Here's some money, totally not to bribe for you to name a damn after me when you unlock them. Oh man, I'll, I'll try to remember. I'll try to remember. I don't know how far away we are from, from Dam Dams. From Van Dams. Uh, okay, hold on a second. Oh God. Too many bribes. Too many bribes coming in. Manimals? Uh, production. Crop fields. Oh, it's Referic again. Wow, the cinematic camera reminds me so much of Mafia 1. The city of lost heaven. Burp. Is there a hotkey for this? I could probably conf uh, configure one. Uh, Capadamit, now I want to extort people's money, shoot a Tommy gun, disregard our traffic jaws, and the city's mine. Where's my fedora? I have never played the um, the Mafia games. But I should, because I mean, it, it's like a cool, cool setting and cool idea. But yeah, I've never played any of them. There was um, a game that looked like a Mafia sort of, um, I don't know, like strategy game called uh, Omerta that came out a few years ago, but apparently it was maybe a little on the disappointing side. I remember thinking that looked really cool. There you go. Just wrap some power to here. All right. <gasps> Potent. Oh, yeah, that's right. Oh, that's the other thing I forgot about with this, which I love so much. Over here, we can change the look of these fields from conifers to beach, alder. It's whiskey like, and chocolate. That's nice. I like it. More whiskey and chocolate. The little I played of Amurda, I didn't like it personally. Yeah, I think it was sort of a, yeah. Uh, been leeching your content for too long without giving any support. Keep it up. The King Asalut. Thank you very much. I salute you, King Asalut. Elders are pretty. Yeah. The crops need electricity. Yeah, they don't, but it does carry the electricity. I mean, they need a little something, something. A little power cable so they can plug some stuff in. Recharge their electro tractors. No, that's not a thing. The tree in the middle of the mountain road next to the roundabout was quite defiant when you developed that area. This one over here? Yeah. This tree here, which is like right in the middle of the intersection. Like, why does it even exist? That's interesting. All right, so this is starting to work. It's got some workers, which is good. We still have a residential demand. Um, I think I might do. Oh, garbage, yeah. Um, hang on a sec. What am I gonna do, first of all? 
It's gonna make a little road off here for some services. Although it's waterfront, we want that to be pretty. Okay, this road might not stay forever. And actually, in the interest of money, I'm just gonna do this. All I'm gonna do, I'm being very lazy here. We got some bits from Scapegoat. Hey, thank you very much for the bits. Uh, I'm just gonna go and drop a garbage site over here. Doesn't even need power or anything, I don't think. So it can just start servicing these guys. I think our capacity was probably okay. No, our landfill is pretty full, actually. This one's gonna, yeah, start emptying. Um, we're gonna need, uh, well, let me build a second one over here. We're gonna need uh, our incinerators at some point. Yeah, we'll get you going, that's gonna be okay. But yeah, I was wondering about building an, um... I'm gonna put another roundabout here and then get a residential area right here. Whiskey and chocolate. Or maybe here? Phenomenox! No, 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 no. After seeing that many fields, I have to ask, any more farming simulator planned? None planned, but oh, God. I was just, there was something that reminded me of it the other day. Well, I was reminded about it like a million times during the uh, Scottish road trip with Essentia, because I like, I kept seeing farms and things. I'm like, oh, I want one farming simulator. Um, Let's do something like this. So I don't know, there's nothing planned, but I would like it. Now, the road smoothing tool over here, is it only vertical? I don't know. Uh, Cause there's, what does it say? It's if you hold control, all nodes between this and the other junction, and then hit enter. No, yeah, it just vertically smooths it. Which isn't necessarily what I wanted, although the, ultimately this would get smooth as you put down buildings and things anyway, so I guess that's gonna be okay. So I'm gonna have to kind of manually tweakify this. There you go. All right, not too bad. Yeah, I don't know. I might have to... Uh... Bring these nodes down. I mean, a little bit of a buildup for some of the roads kind of makes sense. You don't want your roads in a dip because then they accumulate water. Okay. Uh, there's a little kink in the road here, and not the kink shame or be too conservatives, but I want my roads to be mostly straight. Wait, wait, what? Um, bring this down too. And there might be a lot of, we did this a lot in our city that turned out, and it's one of, it's probably my favorite city I've ever made in City Skylines. The one that looked like it was a combination of both San Francisco and Miami Beach somehow. Um, we did a lot of shaping of the terrain for some of the roads because it was on a big slope. I mean, the hill gave us the that San Francisco feel and then it goes all the way down to the coast giving us that Miami Beach feel. Um, so, all right, that's not too shabby. We might round about that, but the um, important thing was to get a connection. Actually, I think what we'll probably do is maybe round about here to give us access to a neighborhood, maybe a pair of these. Let's do something like, look at me roundabouting all the things, you guys. Let's do something like that. Actually, hold on. I guess I didn't need to ruin all of those. Uh, but I want to avoid a situation where people are preferring this. So I want to go like this and sort of like that. Make sure it's sort of longer than some of the other alternatives. And actually, it makes a nice sort of parallelogram over here. I don't know if it's like all the way parallel. Parallelish. All right. Do that. Um, can I just control O to close you again? Yes, good. Excellent. And then let's get some residential roads going off of this not enough money unpause i don't like to keep the game running while i'm doing work because i'm worried that like you know it'll it'll get away from me but at the same time it's like leave it run make money
I love the new Factorio YouTube series. Do you know if any mods work with 0.17? Um, oh, most of them do, actually. I'm, I'm running it uh, vanilla, um, mostly because I want it to be a little tutorial-y, and I don't want to complicate, you know, instructions with, like, talk of too many mods. But I'm pretty sure most of them have been updated for 0.17. Uh, there was one big break, partly through the um, 0.17 development, where internally they changed the um, the references. Uh, there's a whole de um, dev diary or Friday facts or whatever. I don't remember what they're called for Factorio, uh, because there was some confusion about the difference between sort of a player, i.e., a human being who is controlling the game and connected to the server, versus a character, like their little avatar that's running around. Because some things applied to one and not the other, especially in different game modes. Um, so they did a, a big rename to, to split those into properly named classes. And that would have broken a fair bit of mods at the time. But um, I, you know, I suspect that if you were to check now, you'd probably be okay. Um, I know we've been doing a lot of commercial here. Really, this is probably going to be high-density residential later on when we unlock it. There you go. We don't want to infringe, impinge too much on like the farming area. But yeah, let's get some of that going. And yeah, let's go ahead and residential over here. And especially when this becomes high density, it'll look right, I think, with like a bunch of apartment buildings. Plus, we need a ton more housing than we've got right now. And water. Water, water everywhere, but not a drop to drink. Water, water everywhere. And my, the boards did shrink. I need more tea. I think we'll take a short break. I don't think you can build hospitals yet. I don't think so. Although, we do need to healthcare up this area. They've got, like, no access to anything. So, we'll get a clinic going. Um, I'll get another graveyard. Or cemetery. Hey guys, you know the difference between a graveyard and a cemetery? Wait, have I already done that one? And maybe some fire and cops, more wheat fields. Let's take a look at our financial situation. So we are now making like more money from our special industrial area than regular industry and commercial combined. Almost as much money as just the taxes off our residences. So the industrial thing is like really quite strong financially. Uh, suggestion never put anything too close to roundabouts. Yeah, I mean, I think it's okay with this. I mean, this is not something that there would be a lot of people coming in and out of. And, you know, if people aren't allowed to turn left into there, it'd be okay if you, you know, put rules like that or something. Um, I'm sorry, you're the wrong type of road. I mean, you're better, but we're going for consistency here. If I turn off collisions, is it Alt-C? Now we let me upgrade? Oh, you punk. If I use move it to do this. Oh, the anarchy will just let me do it. Okay. I was worried I'd have to turn off collisions. All right, just turn on the anarchy. Excellent. It is interesting that that was like that. I'll put you back there so you don't smash as many houses. Um, there we go. Graveyards on Crooked Land? Yeah, that's fine. Oh, it actually has a church in here. Yeah, that's okay. Actually, a bit of a fun little woo right here. Fun place to drive. Boom. Oh, you get church bells too when you go in quite close. <gasps> Busy town. Yes. Oil, tourism, public transport and things like that. More roads. Oil power plants. That's nice. Hospitals are now unlocked. Okay. Because, well, I did just put a clinic down over here, which is complaining about power, which is legit. Got some zoning over here. Let's get... Um, well, let's get some more schools over here. I'm gonna, um, let me just do it so I don't smash there, although then there's an annoying gap. But we'll get our high school over here, too. Excellent. Over in Zaranea. Because there's a node too close to the roundabout. That's why it's maybe a little goofy. We could delete a node, too. One of the things that the electrics mod does is let us delete street nodes. 
Guys, I'm gonna go and get some more tea. You guys, uh, watch this, and I'll be right back. Hello, I'm back. Oh, I didn't realize you could see my chair this whole time. Oh, I just ruined the gorgeous cinematics that uh, we had going for us. Aww, I'm sorry. Also, these are not connected over here, so they're being kind of whiny pants. Let's, um, let's get a nice, like, large park over here in the corner. Um, and then that would clip into that building. We'll do this. I like doing this because it's a good way to like extend the power grid without having to build ugly, ugly power lines. Can you buy an adjacent square to make the city big? I don't know if we can buy one. No, not right now. We have to level up our city a bit more. But we have bought some more. Was it like, what was it when this game was like first announced? But, like they announced the size of these, like each one of these squares is as big as like the f complete building space that you had in like SimCity 5 or whatever we want to call it. Why do people stop putting version numbers in their games? But you know, the latest, the, the newest Sim City that was like, eh. It's like, I think each one of these squares is as big as the maximum building space you had in that game. <laughs> and they were like, or maybe double, because it was at one kilometer by one kilometer, and each one of these squares is two kilometer by two kilometer. I think that's true. Each one of these squares is effectively four times as big. And then you can have up to nine of them in the base game. And of course, what you do, the first mod that, that people put out is like, buy all 25 of these. Oh, yes! Promise my forestry employees a bouncy castle to take their breaks in. Banana Cabana has requested a bouncy castle. Um, how about we put a bouncy... Let's see if we can put a bouncy castle in the middle of a roundabout. That's the wrong button. Uh, 
Um, first of all, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to hit Control C to turn off collisions. Control A, there we go. So now we can put things with impunity. So we're going to do that. Uh, then, I'm just going to make sure. Yeah, there we go. Come back over here. And then we're going to use the Move It tool. I like to move it, move it. The Move It tool has a button in it. Move it to rotate. Rotate is control and then the arrow keys. 